Hello guys, morning. Welcome to my CRM Connect videos for Dynamics 365 and Dynamics 3RM developers. Thank you for watching previous videos. So in previous video, we have seen solutions, how we can create solutions Dynamics 365 and Dynamics uh, CRM previous versions as well. So today we are going to see how we can manage solutions. How we can manage solutions in CRM and how we um, export and import solutions in CRM as well. So here we have in CRM we have two types of solutions. So one is managed and the other one is unmanaged. So what's up? Let's see uh, one by one. What is the unmanaged solution and what is managed solution? So first, if you see some managed solution. A managed solution is a solution which contains components and those managed solution once we install or import it to a Dynamics 365 or Dynamics CRM that the components cannot be edited or cannot be removed from the solution. So if we want to remove the updates of the managed solution we have to uninstall that managed solution. Otherwise, you can't um, remove components from the solution from the Dynamics uh, CRM. So, what is unmanaged solution? Unmanaged solution, once you create an unmanaged solution and once you import unmanaged solution in your Dynamics CRM, the components you can edit from the solution itself. So we have here unmanaged solution. If you open this and the components here uh, in the solution or account and contact. So you can open this account entity and contact entity and you can edit the entity or a fields within that contact and within that entity. So you can do whatever you want. This is unmanaged solution. But the disadvantage of unmanaged solution is once you import it and once you publish the unmanaged solution, you can't ro uh, roll back those changes because all these changes are already applied onto Dynamics CRM. So this is a um, disadvantage. So what is the disadvantage of managed solution? Managed solution disadvantage is you can't edit components of this solution. So it, if you want to um, edit or um, update the components of this solution, you have to uninstall this. Means uninstall means you have to remove this solution, is delete the solution from Dynamics CRM and, um, and uh, to, to uh, remove the components, to, to um, remove the updates of that uh, solution, you have to delete the solution from Dynamics CRM itself. That is the advantage of managed solution. So here I created one solution. This is my uh, solution and that was unmanaged. So if you want to take this solution and if you want to import to another environment. So this is my developer environment in your organization. If you want to, um, if you want to move components, move um, the components from your development environment to a system test environment and then to UAT environment and then to pre prod and then to prod. This is the cycle, as you, as you all know. So, how we um, move components from one environment to another environment? Like, so you have to create a solution with all the changes of your uh, components and add those components to your solution and take that to and import it to your uh, another environment. So in previous video, we have already seen how we can create a solution and how, how we add components to the solution. So now just, this is my, um, my unmanaged solution created in dev environment. So these are the components I have added to this solution. So just now, uh, we have to take this solution out and uh, import it to another environment. So this is my solution. I'm you just have to export it. So click here export button. So system asks us 
So before um, taking out this solution, before exporting a solution, publish all customization. If you have any changes, you are done. And if you, uh, by chance, if you um, uh, forget um, customize, uh, publishing the customizations, so your solution won't take those updates with the export. So before exporting any solution, you just have to publish all customizations. Make sure all your customizations are published and saved to the solution. So here, uh, the publishing uh, all customizations. That's right, uh, it is taking a bit time. So all customizations are published. So let's click on next. So it will ask you, so export system settings, system settings you want to um, implement your data settings, uh, some, some other settings. So currently I, I don't want to do those settings. So next, click next. And so here we have option, how we can uh, export your solution so from organization is your environment develop, development environment normally we pass solution as a managed solution to other and other higher environments because whatever changes you would like to do um, in the solution components you have to do in dev environment only not in system test not in UAT right so you have to select manage solution so export so solution is getting created by microsoft so it will show you the download link button here So here it is asking us so creating this I mean solution so let's save so solution gone downloaded into your location so you can directly take this solution as a zip file and location okay this is um, exporting right so now I would like to see other environment let's take the same environment so um, I have only one environment that's why I'm uh, um, doing import as well into this solution so if you um, click on um, settings you have a cust solutions under the cust solutions uh, section only um, if you click on solutions so it will show you here so we, here we have import option select that one and here choose file so I'm um, um, clicked on that one so we have so this one, my new solution managed. So I'm selecting here a new solution. So I'm importing. So the solution is already installed in the system as a managed solution. And the package supplied is attempting to install its managed mode. Import can only update solutions when the modes match. Uninstall the current solution and try again. So this is actually um, a warning or error uh, from the Microsoft because we have already the same solution. You can icon to um, manage solution and unmanage solution both with the same name and same components. That's why it is giving an error. Um, we have to um, create unmanaged solution and then import. So the same way. Uh, like this one so you just select select file here select file here and click next and then click next to automatically um, install all the changes to the solution and to the dynamic CRM this is it uh, this is it about managing the solutions
in dynamic CRM. So unmanaged and managed solutions in dynamic CRM. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you so much. See you next time with a new video in Dynamics CRM 365. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.